Gas, antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen and oxygen and nitrogen and rhenium and nickel, neodymium, neptunium. Welcome back. In the last video, we looked at one of the practicals or one of the experiments you would have done in class, and that was about the fermentation of glucose. So how glucose goes into ethanol and carbon dioxide, and we looked at animation that showed that experiment. In this video, we're going to cover something related, which is the balance equation for the fermentation of glucose. So I'll actually read the dot point. It says, present information from secondary sources by writing a balanced equation for the fermentation of glucose to ethanol. So what I'll do is I'll go over this here. I'll go over this balanced equation, both the word and the chemical equation. But I'll also show you an animation just to highlight the reason why we need to make sure it's balanced. And the animation will hopefully be able to clear up reasons why we have to balance equations. Let's start with the word equation. This is the word equation. We just have words. So we, the actual um, animation in the last video looked at how glucose um, breaks down in the presence of a yeast. And it breaks down into two ethanols and two carbon dioxide. This was the word equation. When it comes to the actual chemical equation, we have to have just the actual atoms that are in glucose. So for example, glucose is C6H12O6. In this case, it's aqueous, so I'll write AQ at the end because it's dissolved in water. And when there's yeast, the yeast will produce an enzyme. So this produces enzymes, produces zymase, and zymase was that enzyme. So I'm going to write enzyme in brackets. And this enzyme helps to break down glucose, so C6H12O6. And it does so by rearranging its atoms. And when it's rearranged the atoms in this glucose molecule, it will turn from there, from this into two ethanols, which is C2H5OH. So that's one ethanol, and at that time it's two plus two carbon dioxide, so plus two CO2. So I'm going to go through quickly just to show you how it's balanced. So in this case, we've got six carbons on this side. We've got two times two, so carbon. So two times two, two times two equals to four. And here we have two times one. So two times one equals to two. So we've got two plus four. On this side, so that's 6, and, and 6 on this side, so it's balanced. Here we've got 12, and here we have 2, two times 6, because remember, this is H5 plus 1H, so this is H6, so 2 times 6, because we have two molecules, so that's 12 on this side and 12 on this side. Again, that's balanced. And then we have 2 times 1 oxygen, so 2 times one, that's two on this on this one here. And we have two times two here, so two times two, which is equal to four. So we have four plus two, six oxygen on this side and six oxygen on this side. So overall, if we have these kind of um, equations, it's balanced, but we made sure we had to put those two in front to make sure they're balanced, otherwise we would not be balanced. We had ethanol, which was also aqueous, that means it was dissolved in water, and carbon dioxide, which was gas. And if you look at the animation in the last video, the gas kind of escaped because it could actually escape its gas, whereas the ethanol was swimming around in the actual liquid itself. So now I'll show you the actual animation. And with the animation, we have a couple different things. Here, this is our glucose molecule right here. And this is the enzyme. So the enzyme zymase. And with the enzyme zymase, it was produced by the yeast. We write on the actual top of the line here, we write yeast, but in, in actual fact, the enzyme zymase is produced by the yeast that does the breaking down. So this is produced by the yeast. What will happen is, at some point, this enzyme will actually travel towards the glucose, or they meet, and when they meet, there's going to be a big reaction because this enzyme zymase starts to break down this glucose structure. And so what you can see slowly happening is you can actually see the rearranging of atoms. So you can see on both sides, we have two new um, compounds being formed. And these two new compounds 
are carbon dioxide. So you can see the atoms rearranging. But we still have a carbon structure backbone of four carbons left. But that's also going to break down and the atoms are going to rearrange. And that's going to break down to form ethanol. Right? So now we have ethanol forming. That's good because that makes sense because now we have two carbon dioxides. So two carbon dioxides here, one here, and one here, and two ethanols, one here, and one here. And so we said here, two ethanols, two carbon dioxide, all that comes from that original glucose. And by having those two of each, we can make sure that there's no actual atoms lost. They were just rearranged. If we only had one of each, that would have meant we would have lost some. But by having two, we can make sure that we have that same original atoms still in our reactants as well. They just got rearranged into new different compounds. So that's why we balance the equation. And it's really important to know this equation because there's actually a dot point which says by writing the balanced equation for the fermentation of glucose to ethanol. So you need to remember this equation. If I mean, generally it's good to remember equations, but if it says that you need to remember this equation, then definitely you need to remember this equation. But not just that glucose goes into ethanol and carbon dioxide, but also that how we have one glucose going to two ethanols and two carbon dioxide. So those two parts in front are really important. And yeah, try to also remember this structure, the structural formula, or the uh, chemical formula, sorry. And you have the, you know, the aqueous so the states are in for both the glucose and the ethanol and the gaseous form for the carbon dioxide. And I hope that the animation was helpful when visualizing what will actually happens when glucose is broken down into ethanol and carbon dioxide. But I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.